we've talked about these types of products as being either evolutionary or revolutionary. It's still important for Apple. It's a big part of their income stream. Should people be going out to buy this phone? Is it that good? I think we're going to see a lot of early adopters go out to buy this phone. Um, I think there's enough carrots in the new iPhone 14 that's going to make people who feel the need to get the new iPhone every one or two cycles go out and get it. Uh, the Dynamic Island's pretty cool. That new camera looks really nice. And it's also a little bit faster, though not that very much. I still think that this is a evolutionary versus a revolutionary device. I really like the way that you put it. So I think we'll see that early surge and early adopter interest. But the real question is going to be what's going to happen after that. You know, what's interesting, Alex, I, you know, we've been talking about this release for a while now, ever since kind of Apple rolled it out during their product launch and everything. And, and, and one person tweeted at me and, and basically said, hey, save your money. Wait for the 15. We expect better things coming out of that. So what's this kind of landscape that Apple has to navigate now with an inflationary environment, a, a consumer that's getting a little bit more discerning of how they spend their money? Do we think that Apple needs to position itself differently given this kind of broader economic environment for phones? Or are people still going to go out and shell out, you know, a thousand plus dollars for a smartphone whenever it comes out? Yeah, I think it's funny that um, someone told you to wait for the 15. I feel like we've been doing that every moment since the 10, right? 10, and you're like, all right, let's wait for the next one, wait for the next one. You know, I, I'm on the 10. Is the 10 really that different from the 13 or 14? I don't think so. I don't feel the pressing need to upgrade, and I don't think a lot of people do. And that's why you have, you know, hundreds of millions of people holding on to two or three or even four-year-old iPhones. And that compelling event to upgrade just you know isn't there anymore i think your your reference of the macro is is spot on right is this going to be the purchase that people are going to make now that their money isn't going as far as it used to because of inflation and maybe their portfolio is a little bit smaller because of the rising interest rates and the contracting margins so these are going to be the, the key questions that apple is is going to face moving forward like i said i think that early adopters are going to really like it um, but where the rubber meets the road really is what happens after that. And it's going to be very difficult for Apple to fight these macro conditions, no doubt. Now, Alex, the timing of these product launches is always very deliberate. It happens kind of right after school starts, the, 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 the pre-orders start up, and then the, the deliveries come in just the next few weeks after that. But it all positions itself for that all-important holiday shopping season. So what's the expectation in your mind about how these phones and the hardware that Apple announced will perform this holiday season, given that inflationary consumer environment? Yeah, I think, look, we, we still know that Apple always sells well. <laughs> no doubt about that. But this uh, holiday season is going to be tough for lots of consumer companies. And people are trying to figure out ways to, to save money, trying to fight, figure out ways to be a little bit more financially responsible. And if you're Apple, you're coming up against that like everybody else. Now, that being said, we are seeing this bifurcation of our economy, right? The luxury goods are always doing well. Um, staples, uh, companies like Target, Walmart, you know, sometimes they struggle in a hard time where, you know, where the richer segments of the economy aren't feeling it as much and still going out and buying the iPhone. So by typical standards, you say, okay, the iPhone is a luxury product, it's gonna be okay. But we do know that according to some reports, the iPhone is now uh, the number one phone, surpassing Android phones in the United States. So I don't think that it can continue to rely on that status of we're a luxury item, our customers are gonna be safe. Now it's exposed to the broader population and it's gonna feel some of their pain as well moving forward. And I think that will extend into the holiday season as well.